part about me is middle school and high school, I didn't have I didn't have boyfriends and things like that, and I really didn't go out, so I didn't actually didn't get my first kiss until I was my first year in college. That's the truth, okay? You can judge if you want or whatever, but yeah, so this is going to be a story about that. So, I went to, um, I was in college, and I went to a school um, downtown in the heart of a major city. I'm not going to say the name of the city that I live in, but a major city, and I live right smack dab in the, uh, in the city. I was at school. So, um, me and my college bestie, we were like this. We did everything together. So, we were walking um down the street, I think we were coming from Starbucks. Uh, we were walking past the Starbucks or something like that. So we walked past the Starbucks. And there was a um older a man. He wasn't old, but he was older than me. I was like 19, 18, 19 at the time. And I found out he was like to me at that time he was old. He was like he was like 26 or something. And that, that's not old, but he was older than me, so. Um, so I was well, walking past the Starbucks and he saw me and, um, and, um, he, he, he was like calling me through the window. Now, see, like I said, once again, I was 18, 19, not a lot of experience with men. I was silly. So I went in the store. Now, if that would have happened nowadays, I would have been like, you know, you you come out here and say something to me. So, you know, he was like, come here, you know, you go there. And, you know, Starbucks has all the window, open window, picture of Starbucks in the city. It was like that. So, um, yeah, so I went in there whatever, with my friend and he was, he wasn't saying nothing, but he was charismatic. He was very charismatic and he was good looking and... It was, um, he wasn't the usual, he, he didn't have a hood vibe, and I, I've never been in the dudes with a hood vibe, so, yeah, he, he didn't have a hood vibe, so I thought that was, you know, it was attractive, and like I said, he was good looking, it was real good looking, so, um, yeah, he was like, basically saying that he was interested, I'm not gonna tell you all the details of what he said, it wasn't really, um, a great pickup line, but <laughs> at the time it was a good pickup line. Apparently, at the time I was young, I was stupid. Anyway, so he got to know me, whatever. So now this story is about first kiss, but it's also um a warning story because I found out the dude was he was a psychopath, he was crazy. But anyway, later on to that. So now he got my number. This was the first day he got my number. The next day, y'all, he was at my dorm. Yes, I know not smart it was stupid but he was in my dorm the next day so i let him come over uh it wasn't late night or nothing like that it was during the day but still it was stupid but anyway, so um yeah now but about the guy not gonna say his name it's not important um he had a different he had a weird name anyway um about the guy i could tell he wasn't from around where i was from i could tell he he wasn't he wasn't from here um, he was a, um, an, uh, aspiring actor. I'm going to put it like that. That's another thing that was different because in the, the particular city where I live, everyone is in the music. Well, at the time, it was more so the music industry. Now the film industry has picked up, but, um, at the time it was just starting off. So it was different to me an actor or it wasn't the, as common as me like a, a aspiring rapper or singer or something so it was different to me at the time nowadays everyone is an actor or singer rap or whatever out here so anyway so yeah so he was an aspiring actor um he he wasn't famous or nothing at the time i don't think he's famous now either but that's neither here nor there so um 
and he was into movies and all this and that. So when we when he came over, we was like chill, and I really started really liking him. Like I said, he was very charismatic. He was he had a very different personality. He wasn't the usual of the type of dudes that I had been meeting, seeing, stuff like that. He wasn't that easy. So um, I liked him. He and he really seemed to really really like me like I said I was young and naive so I was thinking wow he really likes me I don't know if he really liked me like that but he he liked certain parts of me let's just put it like that I don't know how much he really liked me looking back at it I mean I think now he, he does he did like me but he was too he was too much for me I didn't have no business messing with him so anyway get to the I'm gonna get to the crazy part how I I knew he was crazy because he's crazy. So, um, like I said, it was going great. Everything was going great. He was really feeling me. I was feeling him. I wasn't, it wasn't nothing sexual or nothing like that. So we sat, so we was on the couch, right? We making conversation or this and that. He basically was in like I said he was in the movies so he was really interested in movies that upcoming movies that were coming out and I and was too at the time to a certain extent but yeah he okay after 30 minutes of watching movie trailers like he'll talk about them he'll be, he'll be like okay this movie coming out that it has such and such in it and after 30 minutes of that conversation I was like okay this is nice this is cool after an hour I was like, oh, okay, yeah, mm -hmm. this is me. Mm -hmm. After an hour and a half, I was like, oh, okay. I'm, I'm getting tired of talking about this now, basically. And see, me being so young and naive, like, nowadays I would have just been like, I'm tired of talking about this. Can we like change the subject? Is there something else we can do? Cause I'm bored. Okay, so back then I was like, I'm gonna hurt his feelings. Like I don't know if I should say. I was just so bored. I was like, this is too much. I'm I'm tired of doing this. So eventually he he took the hint. And he he looked he like it took him a long time to take the hint out. Cause I, he was really like all about himself. That's another thing. It wasn't good. So he finally looked over at me and was like, "Oh, you, he was like, what's wrong? You, you can't." He was like, you, "You're bored, aren't you?" Cause I was still trying to act all shy. I was like, "He was like, what's wrong?" I was like, and he was like, "You're bored, aren't you?" I was like, "Kind of." He was like, "Why you didn't just say that or that right now?" And I was just like, mm -hmm. "Like, mm. I was, I was young. I was stupid." But anyway. So we 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 did something else. We changed the subject. So anyway, this is the crazy part. So um, I had two. I shared a room with two other girls, and um, they're still my friends to this day. One of them I still keep in touch with this day. Um, we shared a common living space. So I was in the common living space with him, and my other roommate, one of my roommates, she came in the um living room area and was basically I don't remember exactly what she needed, but it was something like shampoo. She was going to wash her hair, and I don't remember if. She was asking to borrow my shampoo or asking if I seen her shampoo or something like that. She came in. She's like, hey, Tiff, you know, there's some shampoo I can borrow or whatever. And I was like, sure, yeah, let me get up and go help you. Because I had been sitting on the couch to do for like an hour and a half, y'all. So I was like, yeah, let me go help you find whatever. I was like, I'll be right back. Y'all, this, do you know this dude? So he had his arm around me. He had his arm around my waist and we were sitting on the couch pretty close together. Y'all, this dude... I remember this so vividly. He pulled me, like, snatched, not snatched, but, like, pulled me in, like, to keep me from getting up to go help her with getting some shampoo. And that just took me aback. Now, like I said, I'm not going to keep blaming my age, but common sense would have told me, like, like, this dude, something not right. I was taken aback. Like, I was a little bit scared. I was like, goodness, he's crazy. Like, so, because I was about to get up. I didn't get up because I was like, he tell me, he was like, nah, like, baby, like, let her, she can go find whatever. 
He was like, you good? I was like, that was crazy. Anyway, back to that crazy part. Cause y'all, I, I actually went back into him um, later on in life, like a few years later after this. It's not worth mentioning, but anyway. So back to that current day. So um, fast forward to when he was finally about to leave. Cause we had spent like half the day together, and he 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 wasn't there at night. He wasn't spending the night that night. So um, this gets to my first kiss part. So I guess the part about that little crazy part that was just the first sign. But I looked past it, cause y'all, I liked him. I did. I liked him. And I was like, well, you know, he liked me. I said, he didn't want me to get back up. It was stupid. Like, looking at him now, I'm like, he's crazy. I would have just told him to leave or whatever. But I didn't. So, uh, he was leaving. He, you know, we was walking him. Well, I was, me and him was walking out because he was about to head. I don't know where he was going. Huh? I don't even know where he lived. I didn't know anything about him. This was a win world romance type three day thing. But that was the first day we chilled together. So we was like, you know, I really had a great time. And he, like I said, he seemed really into me. He was, I hadn't dated any charismatic guy. Well, I hadn't dated really any of us before. Um, yeah. But he was very charismatic. So he knew what to say. And he had a certain, like, I want to say sophisticated swag. But it was a little bit more sophisticated than, yeah around my age and all this and that. But anyway, so he like had a swag about him that wasn't the norm. And I liked that. And um, he dressed nice. He didn't dress, he didn't have a hood vibe or nothing. He didn't dress hood, he didn't talk hood, he didn't look hood, nothing like that. Um, He was good looking. So anyway, back to what I was saying. Yeah, Um. so he, he knew what to say and he just kept saying how beautiful he thought I was, how cute I was and this and that. And I guess at the time, you know, when you're 18, 19, maybe that's all you got to hear. So anyway, um, he like, it was just so weird. Like, I didn't expect it. It was weird. I was like, wow, you know. So we leaned, he leaned in and I was like, in my head, I was like, yeah, he's going to find out that he's the first, he's going to be my first kiss. And I was like. I was like, yo, this this is a good first kiss pick as far as if you're basing it off looks. But as far as like, is he sane? I don't know. I still don't know to this day if he's sane. He might be crazy as hell. I don't know. But anyway, so based off of looks and um, in that sense, I guess that's what mattered at the time. Like I was like, okay, this is a, it was worth the wait. So, um, I was so scared because I was like, in my mind, like, he's getting close, he's getting close, he's going to know that you've never kissed a guy before. So, um, I kind of just tried to follow his lips. I was like, oh, no, no. His lips weren't big or anything, weren't sloppy. It was a good first kiss. It wasn't too wet. But it was just, it was just weird. It was a rush. And I was like, wow. My first real kiss. It wasn't like... The type that make you, um, your foot pop or nothing. I got that from that movie. What's that movie called? Y'all know that movie when we was kids. We used to watch it. It was Princess Diaries. She was like, oh, um, a kiss was make your foot pop. I guess it was, though. It kind of was. Yeah, it kind of was. Um, so yeah, that's my first kiss. Um, more about that, guys. So, long story short, it didn't last. It was like a three, four day whirlwind romance type thing. And um I wasn't he he wanted to do other stuff. And um he didn't know how inexperienced I was. Um yeah so he didn't like that. <laughs> so <laughs> we broke we he broke it off. But for those three days it was like Feeling me too much to the point where he was a little bit, I could tell he was over possessive. Like, I could tell he would have been that type of man. That is so good that we didn't last. <laughs> but anyway, like I said, I did. Um, 
I'm sorry, I'm trying to fix this wig, honey. I don't know about this wig. It's just too big, you know? Anyway, I'm going to wrap this up. So, <laughs> oh, Lord. Oh, yeah. So, I did actually, um, throughout some years, like, I ran back into him. And it would be, like, we would chill for, like, a day or two. And then I'll be like, you know what? You're not really my type as far as you kind of crazy. Like, he had all these weird ideologies. And then we didn't share the same religious beliefs. That's another thing. Um, He still was into just, basically, I think he just wanted sex or whatever. And I wasn't into that. Um, And I remember one, the last time that I ran into him, was, it was years later. Um, I had grown up a little bit, but uh, I still wasn't into doing all that with him. So I did, he invited me over. He had a condo or something downtown. I guess his photography thing was picking up or acting down to him. I don't know, y'all. I don't know. I had looked a little bit older. Um, just a little bit. I was a little bit smarter. Just a little bit. Not a lot. And so, you know, he was feeling that. And he was like, you know, if you really like me. He, he you know, he still was interested. But... No, but anyway, that that's the story of my first kiss, and I think I did tell, end up telling him that he was my first kiss, and I think he he was like, oh okay, whatever. <laughs> so that's my story time for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I will be coming back with my next story. So I'm not sure if the next one will be about when I was kidnapped. That's a long story, long story, or about um. I don't know, maybe a beauty blog or something. It'll be something, you know. Anyway, that's it. Hope you enjoyed it. Goodbye.